Digital artist Corey Archangel was born in Buffalo, New York in 1978, and he currently lives and works in Brooklyn, New York. Um, he studied at the Oberlin Conservatory of Music in 2000. Um, so while he was there, he was working with a lot of mediums of art, um, not just regular typical art, but um, video games, music, websites, and software. Um, he took up like playing classical guitar and everything, and this is all according to atuner.com. Um, Archangel was a very influential figure in the tech-based art um, area and something that he does in specific that a lot of artists don't normally do is that he practices appropriation. So he'll openly make his work available to, online to other artists so that they're able to keep his name alive forever and um, it also questions the value of art because he gives away his techniques and allows people to essentially copy him um, to create their own digital art with his same techniques. Um, his work is typically a mix of conceptual and performance art, so there's a great variation throughout it. Um, so in relation to Andy Warhol, who is like the father figure of um, tech-based art and pop art, um, Archangel was browsing through Warhol's website when he actually came across a video showing um, Warhol creating a digital art, and then he ended up contacting the Andy Warhol Museum in order to gain access to his earlier files. So they had floppy disks that they looked through, and Archangel and his team were able to discover 12 signed Warhol prints on floppy disks of his new work, including like the Campbell can and like the banana. Um, so Warhol was a huge influence in the digital art field, and he probably inspired Archangel through a lot of his artwork as well. Um, with relation to um, other artists, Archangel and Dutch artist Rosa Menkum, um, who also is a leader in video digital glitch art, um, Archangel had a show called Self Playing Games, video games. So he was able to glitch the video games um, on Atari and Nintendo systems, um, and they were bowling video games, um, in order to throw a gutter ball each time they played. So this relates to Menkum because she also did a lot of video um, specific glitch arts and the video games that Archangel was playing with were in real time. So he had, um, he hot wired, which, which is basically a mini computer onto each of the controllers so that during the exhibit they were playing in real time and he was able to have them all throw gutter balls causing the player to lose each time. Um, I'm gonna put a link below in the description so that you can see a couple of them, those videos. Um, they are old school like video games, so it's not like the best quality, but it's actually interesting to see. And um, Archangel did this exhibit just because he thought that it would be funny um, to have all of the players throw gutter balls. 